guys, what's up? The man Betray and welcome back to Postman Panda. So today we are here with the second episode of the Keeping Productive series and the third episode of the Myth Busting series. So without much ado, let's get started. So today we are going to talk about that parents and many people and teachers say that more the number of test series, the more the better. But is it actually true? I like to clarify this at the beginning by um telling this is not exactly true. The most important things, if you make mistakes is taking a note of your mistakes in your mother textbook or writing it down in a notebook and highlighting them suppose if it is a subject like physics or maths where there is some concept involved you can first try to go to the concept which your teacher has made you write down in a notebook and you can try to understand it from that and if this does not work then i'm sure that you can approach your teacher and he will surely help you if the concept is required in the next time on the other hand suppose if you take chemistry and biology which requires some amount of information learning apart from some amount of concept there you should first try to go to your mother textbook then to your notebook to find that information or if the concept has already been written down in a notebook and has been told to you by a teacher if so then try to understand it from there but if not go to your teacher first ask him if the concept is really required in the exam if it is not really required then you can ask him to explain it to you and you can understand it for the time being but like one month before the exam you can skip that concept and read another important topic but if it is required and if it's important then ask your teacher to explain it to you and more so ever if it was written in your notebook and still you made a mistake and now you cannot understand it anymore then i'm sure your teacher's role will be more important for remembering mistakes there are many techniques by which you can remember your mistakes like there are some debatable ones also like mnemonics see mnemonics are found useful by 80% of the people or i will say if 95% of people find it helpful but the rest 5% like me they find it less of use because for people like me we remember the mnemonics and then we actually forget what this mnemonics stood for it's like remembering some let us combination that had made for a mnemonics but forgetting all the digits which each letter in the letter combination stood for so i believe that exam giving is simply not everything it's the mistakes in the exam people believe that by giving more and more pressure by giving more and more exams they will attain a greater level of perfection but no it's just that you have to know to which limit you can give exam if you believe me exam giving is simply not everything it is the exam analysis that actually matters and if you do a detailed analysis of all the errors and the weakness and the opportunities and threats that you have encountered in a previous exam and you have worked on it then i'm sure that you will be getting those extra three or four questions correct which you would not have been able to if you had not done a detailed analysis there are different types of problems that we make like some are problems in our basic concept understanding and some are problems like the problems we make while doing questions we think that we have understood this concept very well but the problem crops up during our application time or when we are doing questions if you are having this type of problem then you should go to teacher and you should ask him to supply some material by, from which you can do those particular types of problems or if not at the very least you can ask him to suggest a book from where you can practice that type of question the fault is not with the stars the fault is with ourselves and in your study technique the fault is with getting more than your peers and being satisfied and contented with that is not the end of the road the end of the road is when you will be absolutely perfect till before you have attained 100% perfection you will always have scope of improvement if you make even one mistake that one mistake upon which you can improve that one mistake you need to write down with the same amount of hard work and with the same amount of determination with which you used to write down at that point of time when you used to make 10 mistakes bonus tip you should actually dedicate a lot of time in your entire day schedule in which you can actually look up the web see those online test series and see where you have made those mistakes you should make that little red diary where you note down all mistakes and you name that the mistake diary so remember extract everything that you can from a test series that you've already enrolled in before jumping into another test series the number doesn't matter the quality of your preparation and the quality of an exam analysis of a particular test series matter it can be one or it can be two but that but number is not everything 
it's a studies and it's the marks and it's a final ranking in these exams which will actually matter if you like this video and want to see more type of this content on this channel for absolutely free and get more productivity tips and hacks from a person who has seen it all and has done many mistakes on his path and who wants to help his juniors by helping them not make the same mistakes then i'm sure that you can follow me click on the subscribe button smash the like button and share it as many times as you can with all your friends and all your peer groups this will motivate me to post further videos on this channel you can also drop down a comment if you like this type of content or what more type of content do you want to see coming up in this channel peace out and adios amigo